I used to be very welcoming to everybody that would come into my life, but now I'm very wary of everybody. When you first get in here, you first get in the narrow gate, it's very, what, what's the word? Terrifying. Yeah, terrifying. I was very taken back by it. Kept myself to myself for about three days. Good morning, Manchester. There's not been development on this scale in any other European city ever. We are having an awful lot more investment, especially from overseas, simply because we have higher yields. So for every £100,000 that, that somebody is putting in as an investment, you're going to get an awful lot more back per year in Manchester than you are in London. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. My Jesus loves you more than you could understand. So take his hand. Unfortunately, we have to have ladies in the same room as the men because we haven't got the space and we haven't got the staff to run two separate dormitories. We're always at, at capacity. Yeah. Both had a really rough time in life. We don't give a what people think anymore. Both been through real problems, real situations, and you get a different outlook on life. You can't give a anymore. You don't give a you, you really can't. don't. You look at people in a different way. Yeah. I used to be very welcoming to everybody that would come into my life, but now I'm very wary of everybody. I had everything. Well, I had an apartment in town. I was working in a school for nearly 10 years, living with my brother, living a high life, had enough money to do anything that I wanted to do. And then, long story short, one day my brother died in my arms and we had just exploded. Couldn't handle it, lost my girlfriend, my job. And because I'd lost my job, I lost my house. And then I just went living on a field for a year and a half. Dropped through the gap, forgotten about, and then they wonder why there's so many mentally ill homeless people. Well, if I got the help two years ago, I wouldn't be homeless. I'd be probably volunteering in work. How are you coping like mental health wise now? Are you getting any Struggling, help? really struggling at the moment. What I'd, kind of I'd be help all right with this if it, if it wasn't, honestly. Yeah. Uh, doctors offering me medication, but I don't want to take it. It's more just therapy. That's what I really need. I'd rather talk to somebody that seems to give a than just take some tablets. You'll, yeah. you'll be okay. So, in regards to accommodation, it's kind of lucky because I've just got a client who is moving out today, and it's, a one, it's an apartment just around the corner from here. I'm not an estate agent, do you know what I mean? This property, you're gonna to have to either say yeah, or you have to say no, we've got like so many rough sleepers, but because you've been here for so long and you were sleeping rough, it's kind of your first dibs, but it'll be moving in the next two days. I'll take it. Yeah, it's nice. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> Wow. Wow. 
This might be too much space for me. <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, of course I'm happy. Over the moon trip. I really am over the moon trip. Fantastic. I just don't do a very over the moon good face, but I'm really happy, extremely happy with it. And I know it's a nice flat and people get in and they say, but we will be on to you trying to make sure that you're going forward and we are looking at things and we are bidding and we're doing what we can to get out. Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> 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 it's in the shot now.